Yeah. Get out here, man. You, you know, like uh, uh, the John Morant uh, situation, you know what I'm saying? Like, like he, he started flashing the heat again, bro. You know what I'm saying? On IG Live. You know what I'm saying? They gave him the suspension. You know, like Adam Silver, all the NBA people saying that it ain't looking good. You know, man, that they trying to suspend him for the season, all type of shit. Like, what's your thoughts on just the whole situation? That's some hoe ass shit. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, whatever you doing on your personal time, it's on you. That nigga ain't raping nobody, ain't killing nobody, ain't you know what I'm saying, harassing nobody. It's motherfuckers out there harassing motherfuckers right now who not famous who get away with this shit every day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. That nigga ain't beat no bitch up or did nothing to really be canceled, bro. Like, I get on YouTube and I see white white men in the forest shooting their guns. Yeah. I just seen, uh, well, I ain't going to bring another black nigga down while I'm making this point. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but one of my favorite rappers doing the same shit. And, like, they don't, ain't no backlash from it. Right. So because this nigga play basketball, because he shoot a ball in a hoop, he's supposed to be a different person because all oh, people look up for him they look up to him, whatever. To keep it real, that nigga just asked for a million dollars to hoop. Yeah. He didn't ask for nobody to look up to him. That ain't his fault. And then how you going to say he a bad person because he's showing a weapon that he paid for that's registered to him probably or was probably fake? Who knows? And he listening to another black nigga who made it out the hood. He listening to Young Boy on the radio, a nigga that came from nothing, supporting his music, planning on his Instagram for his followers. And because he got a gun in his hand that he bought, probably from some white motherfuckers. Because when he went in the store to go get that motherfucker, I'm pretty sure that corporate <laughs> store, some white motherfuckers own it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he 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 bought this. He supported they movement. <laughs> he playing that young boy. He supporting they movement. He made yeah. it out. Yeah. But because he played for the Grizzlies, it's fuck him. He went out the car shooting out the window. He went on there saying, oh, I'm going to do this to this nigga when I see him. None of that. All he did was show a gun and play some little nigga music who made it out the slums. And they saying, fuck him. No crime was committed. You can't go take this to court and do nothing with it. But it's fuck him, get him out the NBA. You know how many niggas who probably do the same shit and they just not on camera with it? Yeah. They really more of the fake niggas to me. Yeah. At least he got the boss to show the world who the fuck he is. Some of these niggas are do it, throw a brick and hide their fingers like, Oh, get right on camera and be like, kids, you got to woo, woo, woo. And jump right in the car, put Blick in their lap and be playing that young boy because they know they play for the Wizards or whoever and they got to protect themselves. Yeah. But because his homie recorded, he ain't even recorded. Right. Somebody else, it was somebody else live. Yeah. And I feel like niggas do a lot of shit for viral moments too. You never know if it's lined up. John Moran's smart. He know he probably did it in a way where... No trace where it's really like, okay, y'all can't do shit about it. Really, suspend me for a couple games. That's going to be y'all getting y'all last bus. Who else the Grizzlies really got? <laughs> y'all just making it worse to get the playoffs down. Like, y'all ain't, that's y'all over some shit that I'm doing. And then, this is the thing, too. On top of all that, it ain't even like the season is going on right yeah, now. It's off they got put out. Yeah. He at the crib. First round. He not at the locker room or yeah. pulling up to the games like this no more. He ain't doing that. He at his crib. Yeah. Y'all ain't got nothing. He probably ain't even in the state of Tennessee right. if his if his crib ain't there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, that shit don't got nothing to do with the Grizzlies. I feel like they, and then it's like, if social media didn't exist, this shit wouldn't be going on anyway. Right. Imagine when Jordan, if Jordan them had Twitter and Instagram when they was in the league, a lot of them niggas would have been suspended too. So all them old niggas who be on ESPN talking down and be making it seem like, He's supposed to woo, 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 my nigga. Nobody knew what the fuck you was doing then because they ain't had no social media. Because if they would have recorded half the shit you niggas was doing, it would have been fuck y'all too then. You know what I'm saying? Well, this shit probably wouldn't even been that big of a deal. Right. Niggas done got accused of rape, NFL players, NBA players, all kind of shit. That shit ain't never got recorded. That shit was then. Down to the social media and shit, it make it shit 30 times worse, 100 times worse, my nigga. Mm -hmm. That's all it really is. That's true, man.